funnel. It's a fine funnel. Yo, this funnel kind of looking fine. Funnel got me acting up. <laughs> funnel, putting the fun in funnel. Exactly. Can you sit on the machines? <laughs> Can I sit on the machines? Like, yeah. what do you mean? Like, uh... Ooh, that would be awful. Definitely don't do that, Glenn. <laughs> on most. <laughs> okay. I feel like this this teeth. This is this is definitely a puzzle right here at the teeth. Yeah. I'm not sure if we can do anything with it yet, so. Going out. Okay. Oh, yeah, we at could. It. Now, now we're back. We're gonna leave this place. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. Oh. Okay. There's a guy. Cousin Ted. Hey, Ted. Dead, Dead cousin, cousin Ted. Ted. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Five years ago. Here five years. Oh, lore. The deep lore. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. <laughs> uh, Call him you out. You have seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Nah, didn't think so. It's going about how I expected hey, I it to. I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. No offense intended. Yeah, I didn't mean to be mean. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Okay, Ted. thanks. Oh, mailbox. Mailbox alert. There has to be something in the mailbox, right? There has to be. It's empty. No. Oh. Dang. Uh, oh. I think there's it's a guy. The spy. <laughs> a spy? Hi. Spy! Don't sneak up on me like that. That's just like the spy's voice. Nice crowbar. Yeah. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. This used to be putt-putt right here. Oh, um, it looks pretty depressed. What are you up to? Well, it says Plus. Zach on it. Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. Lock them in the trunk? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that... If you're it's even locked out, one of the options. break into the trunk. I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. See you later. Okay. All right. Yeah. This, this is the most important character. Yeah, this, this shifty character here. Can uh, you open it? <laughs> just open the, the. Just open the car. I think it's locked. It's locked. Uh, that would be fun. What a surprise. It's unlocked. Why is their house like a... It's like a... It's a motel. Oh, here. Okay, okay, well... I don't know, it's just yeah, it's they, weird. They want you to sleep there so they can spy on you. Hmm. Use your fork to scrape that off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really stuck to the floor. Use fork. I can't, I can't do that, apparently. But it literally has like a full like text. It's prompt. really stuck yeah, to I the know. floor. But Mitchell, it's, it's really stuck. We can use the hamster though. I suppose that is true. Just throw the hamster as hard yeah, as you can you at it. Go boy, go. Woo, look at him go. <laughs> that was it. We're just going to let him just go for just a is teeny. Is he like sweaty now or something? <laughs> what? We wring out the sweat. Woo! Look at them go. There's a to the to do list on the wall right there above the left. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Dr. Fritz designed for a super battery. Oh. oh. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt. Wow. With a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow. Wowie, wowie. That's great. I've got the plans. Are we just over oh, there? Suddenly, have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? That's a good question. My ingenious super battery design, please. All right. There you go, boss. You really flushed them. Yes. Down the toilet. No. Yes. Time. Oh. <laughs> Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. 
Oh, of course. Inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's <laughs> see if what's his name catches on. Oh, great. I'm <laughs> I like how he's just been chilling by the toilet this whole time. <laughs> over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old so pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogon, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great. Oh, so the guy that's the, there's the statue of. Grandfather. Oh, the statue upstairs, yeah. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogon. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? <laughs> well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Good enough. Good enough. Well, That's good enough. He passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. Okay, so we can now switch oh, characters. Oh, we get to play as Hoagie! Yes! <laughs> yeah. he's, he's got a can opener. <laughs> why is, yeah, why does he have that? to be locked. Where? Oh, he does. There, yeah. There, yeah. What else does he have? Patent. He has a patent. <laughs> uh, for, for what? <laughs> oh, this That's is the battery. battery. Yeah, this is, yeah. Okay. Got it, got it. Gold, gold, wait, croutons. Wait, what, what does that just say? Croutons and gold? <laughs> Grody. They're trying to look in ye old... <laughs> <laughs> ye oldy outhouses. Ye old. We're just gonna. Everything's just ye old. Here we go. Ye old kumquat. Quads. I didn't. Is that a real thing? I don't think I've ever seen a kumquat. I have no idea. Oh, those trees. Look at those trees. Thing. They're like, woo. Yeah. Oh, look. Well, here's ye oldy putt putt. Oh, is that. That actually does look like the putt putt character. Is that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you? There is actually a putt putt character that is a carriage when we go oh, back really? in time. Oh really? Is yeah. there? Oh okay. Yeah. It's close. I thought that's why. I thought that's why you said that. No, I know. I I was just. I, I was, want. I was joking. All right. Well, <laughs> we can use the flag. Use open. Whoa. Ooh, the Pony Express. <laughs> they're fast. Wow. No, they okay. they were actually that fast. Can we go in? Okay, here we go. It's a weird angle. <laughs> oh, here's... <laughs> here's oh, the guy. That? He's dead Ted. Don't oh, he's like still dead, huh? Thou silent. How old is Ted that he's still dead? Well, that's cool. Da, 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 I like how everybody just plays, around, plays along with him. Yeah, great hat, man. <laughs> great hat, man. Yeah, the little tricorn thing really lets you know we're in colonial time. It, it, it lets you know that he's actually dead. I dig the three corner idea. <laughs> it's like the pyramids, you know. <laughs> it's like the pyramids, you know. Yeah. And he, you know, if this guy keeps talking, Ted might actually <laughs> much, move out. How much I like about pyramids is it? Oh, I aliens. Mean, Oh yeah, definitely. My friend aliens. Eddie told me the pyramids are built. I by feel like aliens. he's gonna actually move and get out the room if you keep talking to him. Oh, which one? As if. As if. <laughs> Later, dude. Okay, so we need to we need to give the patent to Red Edison. Uh, is that him? That's John Hancock no. Mitchell. Wow. And Thomas Jefferson. They're yeah. all here. Yeah. Well, Thomas Jefferson had red hair. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you put on a coat? Why don't you put a coat on? I'm wearing a <laughs> coat. With. I've even got this blanket which makes me itch and I'm still freezing. <laughs> 
Why don't you build a fire? Build You're right next to a fireplace. Pretty good, yeah. Well, I Just... keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. That's nonsense. You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why? I don't get any respect. I don't get any respect. I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold. We'd get some heat in here. What are How you guys you sign doing? Your name so big? We're writing a, 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 a writing the. We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Oh, so this is where they did it. Yeah, this is where they did. It'll only make me colder. Wimp. <laughs> What's well, oh, a hot coffee? No, oh, no, you don't have the coffee. But <laughs> this is not the off coffee mod. That's not what that means. Oh. Got a motor, dude. You have That's a what he said. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoag. <laughs> is he hitting on? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I am of course Thomas Jefferson. Hoagie's got away with words. Scholar, just musician, transcends. Student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh sure, I've heard of you, dude. Hmm. Huh. Dude, is that like the Constitution? Right now, it's just a constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Oh, yeah. Great. Ooh, let's change it a bit. Does anyone ever He's totally just hitting on people. Very <laughs> okay, just hitting on, like, yes, I studied at Virginia an ancient and technical, where I uh, founding fathers. Theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? We the people part. <laughs> I like the we the people part. That's not in the Declaration of... <gasps> Say, uh oh, that's not bad. Maybe we can use it. Uh -oh. Hoagie came up with the We the People. Oh no. Yeah. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? Oh, here's Hello. your George Washington. Uh, excuse me. Hey, George, yeah, good. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him. Hoagie's oh, mind I keeps getting blown. Whoa, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Oh, oh yes, how quaint. Mm, Hoagie, yes. Hmm. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? <laughs> oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Uh, give me a demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Demonstration. Yeah, that seems good. I don't Just see why. Just scene I from The it. Shining of cutting down the door. Yeah. George Washington. What are you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Do you <laughs> think I should be the ecology president or the education president? <laughs> What's all the cherry tree. trees? Uh, I think I have to go now. Uh, now, which one? Which one should we say? That's the fun. Uh, the cherry ecology. trees, or, or ecology? I think ecology is very important. Yes, of course. Of course, Hoagie would say that. Is which one sounds better? Do you, you know, really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Ooh, dang. Wow, there's a lot to choose from. Yeah, we Man, need to brush them. So just because I see that one leading to an item. Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. 
<laughs> Yummy. Do they, they make a disposable car? What the heck? Actually, I believe the proprietor of this inn is working on something like that. Hmm. Where could I get some of those? They're rather expensive. Mine were custom made for me by my good friend Paul Revere. <laughs> Didn't he invent 3D glasses? I don't, I don't think so. Didn't he ride a, how, a horse through a, a town naked? Partially true. Doesn't Did he have he a band? A horse through town naked? I believe you have him confused with someone else. Lots of Don't lots of teeth talk. Problem with splitters. By this I'm riveting war boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, and felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like ah oh, ha blast it. <laughs> I get it. Jeez. <laughs> what? What about dry rot? What, what about, about woodpeckers? Dry rot. Hardly. No, he never dry though. Gee, yeah. I gotta go now. Gee, look at the time. It's stolen from the desk of George Washington. Hey, keep your hands off that. They don't seem to have gotten too far. It looks pretty blank. Yeah. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Sorry, I'm saving it. Wait, there's a time it's capsule? It's going to be a famous log. It looks like a martini shaker. Can we look at his coat? Okay, I guess not. Why don't you there's a bird check out a room that's not Ring right the bell. here? It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. Smoke detector, okay. Walk to spaghetti. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Eat spaghetti? He just eats spaghetti raw? Mmm, salad oil. In uh, in high school, there was somebody in one of my classes Bitch. that would get those, like, just blocks of ramen and just eat it without Ooh. cooking it. Yeah, I don't know. But you just water. pull off pull off the little crunchy bits, snack on it. Wanna. We can use the water pump with something, apparently. Fill something up with the water. At some point. Like bucket. that bucket. Whoop. I mean, in but a moment, it could be full of water. I hope this wasn't used in the outhouses. Picking up nice. a ton of items now. Okay, yeah, let's use the bucket. <laughs> Everything about that was amazing. One big drop of water. <laughs> We're gonna do the ice bucket challenge next. Yes. Uh, Is there something behind the clock? Yeah, let's try it. I don't wanna. Uh, open. 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 Oh, go in. Oh, because Freddy wasn't gonna fit. <laughs> hey. What so, is it? It's the same exact voice actor. You look kind of familiar. You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you see the inventor of the inn. Important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Hmm. Do you know Ben Franklin? Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. Yeah, drag him. This idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Lots of 3D glasses talking this game. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It got really quiet. <laughs> yeah, the music a just stopped. Piece of paper that will stick to things by itself. Rather ingenious, if I must say so myself. Like a sticky note? Yeah. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. 
Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long mm. line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. Ooh. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Red Edison hates artists. Ooh. Well, see you later. Someone's about to get cut that hair a bit short, huh? Here, uh, take this. Hey, check it out, bro. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Pre pretty good idea. Mm. I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. He's got the croutons. <laughs> it looks like got those. a raincoat than a lab coat. Can I pick this off? Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Work for him. <laughs> it's covered with plans and junk. I mean, at this point in time, you don't want to work for him. I mean, it's Hoagie. Who cares? He doesn't care. That was well, good. We just let out a belch. Bitchin'. Meanwhile, I thought I didn't realize we were playing uh, Pointy's Point. <laughs> Please, this is serious business. You're right. Gotta love that commentary. Alright, we're gonna go upstairs. Oh. Oh, look, there's... <laughs> there's, uh... uh the Max. Max Addox. His petard yeah. runneth over. <laughs> Petard. Six. For such a patriotic dude. Wow. Max, it was so, very patriotic. A zero. I got that made, I had to make it very obvious that this is George Washington's room. Mm -hmm. George very Washington. full of himself. I guess this is George Washington's bed. I guess. We'll just wait until he comes like goes to sleep TV. tonight and there's spaghetti in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use the cord. Here I oh, am. God. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. <laughs> Where did they find these voice actors? <laughs> just employees. Yes, Mr. Washington. Oh, well, she thinks that you're Mr. Washington. Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart in the hall. In the hall. Oh. Do we, do, do we have to run out there while she's in here? I guess. Maybe. I'll let you get back to your work. Yes, there's lots to be done. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, okay. Go, go, go. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Oh, ha! Well, get away from that. It's a good thing I finish in there quickly. Now scram! They just don't uh. make founding fathers like they used to. Oh. What is she referring to? Like the Romans or something? <laughs> I think it's a joke. <laughs> I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Why does everybody think that hey, word? Chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. Some weird looking flags. I've got another design, I've got another change, design for change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Nice alliteration. Scorpions in its mouth. Hologram. Babe, Babe in a leather, leather bikini swinging a broad X. Jeez. Which one which one should we go with? Oh, I think we should go with the skull with the scorpions. How about a skull with like scorpions in its mouth? Jesus Christ. Wow. Just to have it over with. <laughs> I, I love the little pause. Put the pattern on the, the pause. table and I'll nice. get it when I'm done with this job. Put the pattern on the Does table. Does get to design the the flag to and stripes dull 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 hey don't criticize unless you got a better idea <laughs> this game is basically just forced gump 
<laughs> yeah, it's basically just Hoagie inventing like modern society. Ho Hoagie is to stars and to blame stars. for the entirety no, of the United no. States. Hey, <laughs> don't criticize unless you got a better idea. I keep closing the door. Hoagie's so big. He is boy. very big. Is that a penguin <laughs> calendar? <laughs> <laughs> a class. You know, why would that be here? Do they? Do people even know what penguins are? Three hundred years ago, two hundred years ago. <laughs> I don't know. It's a mirror. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, oh. it's just a coffee stain. Oh. oh. See, Hoagie could figure like it out. Spent a lot of time in there. Wink, wink. <laughs> the classic door close. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Instead of Ed the uh, man, we have Ed the horse. Oh, hi yourself. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. <laughs> I didn't think horses could talk. <laughs> You're really role playing Hoagie right now, Glenn. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. <laughs> Hoagie's getting gaslit right now. This is. Is this some kind of a trick? Hoagie's third eye is about to wait, open. Just a horse. You're gonna drink that water and talk at the same time. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Did I mention how great <laughs> right after? <laughs> I, I think Hoagie has a teeth fetish or something. It's a real thing. Yeah. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? What are you doing here? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? That's a good question. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. Oh. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Oh, he's well, talking about I Ben Franklin. Go. See you later. <laughs> Is that water? It's, it's like... It looks like someone... like Al Giselle, sir. Hey, I've got to put him somewhere. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Oh, there's there a statue. Is. Oh, it's the no. person standing in the Question place the statue is, stands. Which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? <laughs> I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even no. Guess not. Even your father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. One of us speaks in lies, one of us speaks in truths. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I see. Still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the uh. model? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm yeah. the Hoagie. model. Should I take my clothes off now? Yeah. Oh, Hoagie is trying to get it on with anybody he can. I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? Oh. Yes. What's happening? No. No. You most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. Don't say that about Hoagie. Okay. It would have one anyway. Look, <laughs> don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Actually, I'm, I'm the delivery man. Delivery man, okay? Yeah, I actually I'm jokes on you, I'm the delivery man. Actually, yeah, I took my clothes off. <laughs> medium, so thank you. No, this ain't the, medium. It's the extra large medium, stuff. It's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We <laughs> are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind, what of, people? kind of people? You're an artist. We get it. Big dumb people. 
I'm no every man, but rock is my life. Terribly amusing. Where you're from? Oh. Where exactly did you come from? The oh, yeah, kind of from the future. No big deal or nothing. The future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future. I'm from the future. <laughs> I like how there are spaces in between them. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Oh. Can we talk to the other one? Oh, oh the other one. Doesn't even blink. Or just to, like, make him move somehow. Please do not perturb right. my model. Can I use my can opener on the carving? I'd rather not. Why would you? It's a barrel just... Oh, there's a the hammer. I wonder if there's anything to eat in it. Can I pick up the hammer while he's... It must be Ned's. Or is it Jed's? Ooh. Oh, you yoinked Please it. Please give me back my hammer. No. Please give me back my hammer. Do you want to... Bucket of water instead? Please give me back my hammer. I wasn't expecting mm. to. Okay, sure. Yeah, I guess you gotta replace it with something else. Hmm. Okay. Bye, horsey. Bye, horse. Hello, oh. cat. Can you talk? What a pretty pussy cat. Oh. He's not uh, that. He's push actually... it down the stairs. Push it down. Yipe. Yipe. All right, paint. Yeah, paint. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo. Spartan. Now you're going to go paint the town red. What? Whoa, whoa. Cat. The cat. The cat, cat liked that. Was... The cat liked that. Where am I going to put it? What did put I do? I used, right I here. used the, I used the mattress. Right, what do I do? Mantras. Talk to it. I thought I used it. I don't think I can do that. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna what do, put how, it? how did I do what I just did a second ago? Oh, you Where don't am even I gonna put know. it. That's just what Hoagie does anytime he gets close to a bed. <laughs> Very Spartan. I used the bed. That one's that one's hard. Use the bed, the squeaky mattress with Hoagie. Uh, whatever you're trying to do ain't, ain't working. Okay, right. all right. Whoop. <laughs> That's not a effect. goofy noise. It's one of those pulley things. Hmm. I don't know if we can do anything with that. Can we go it's down the chimney? It's just a cold chimney. You didn't go in the other window. I guess it's the same. It's the same room. Yeah, it's the same right? room. Yeah. Okay, hey, what's so, up, guys? So we don't have anything to put into the suggestion box. So something we can do. As soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. Hold on. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get what? me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Uh. <laughs> so okay. we gotta get George Washington to cut down that tree in the past. Yeah. So, uh, something we can do is we can actually give Hoagie items. Um, so do any of these items seem like something we should uh, hand him? Um, I mean, there was the prompt about giving... Wait, what did this uh, say? What is it's this? from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner. We should probably give that, give that one to him. Yeah, they'll put that in the Constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that then there'll be a vacuum cleaner in, in here. <laughs> something, something crazy like that, yeah. Okay. And then, th there was the the talk of coffee. 
to uh that was in modern times though no was it not the guy with the cold one with the blanket hmm we should get him give him some coffee I mean, it was like, a, I think it was an option, a, like a dialogue option. I don't know if it was a joke or it was a hint. There's something already that won't fit in there. Oh, there's something already in there. Hmm. Go yoink it. It's empty. It's empty. Oh, you have to flush it. There's nothing to... Did I not put it in there? And then use. Well, now I think you used it properly. Maybe. Okay. Now see maybe, if it's Maybe maybe we're there. not. Uh, hold on. See if you can pull it out now, because it's doing the glow There's effect. There's something in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's something in there. Okay. Now we have the flyer. So this is something I definitely remember. Uh, you see this kumquat tree? You have to yeah. paint it red. What? Like cherries? Yeah, like a cherry tree. I remember that Ooh, being. I remember that being a really obtuse thing to do. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I can see that. That's uh, I'm stuck and I'm just trying an item on everything kind of <laughs> situation. Right. Yeah. Okay, where were they? In the main oh, hall, main hall. Main hallway. Okay, Jordan. so, well, wait, we gotta put in the suggestion. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. Hoagie, you're just talking like normal. I say, lads, I have an idea. Tips for Dora. Does have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Wow. Sure, yeah. George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. Do it, do it, do it. Open the box. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American... I say... A ...vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? No. <laughs> Whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for... I, I, I didn't write it, guys. I didn't write it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. Hooray! No? Boys, this isn't it's making so any sense, but let's get on it. What's a vacuum uh -oh. cleaner? <laughs> You suck. Wait, was that I, in this time? It was in the modern time. Oh, it was in modern time, okay. Um, okay, let's talk to him Excuse again. Excuse me. Oh, he's smoking yeah, a cigar. I've, I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. There's one out there. Pondering the great truth, eh? Well... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandma. You can't do it. You can't Ooh. do it. Have I? Ooh. Well, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree near. I see, I see one. But as you can see, there. Oh. 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 Where did that come from? A cherry tree hmm. in there. Whoa. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. Let's do it, Hoagie. Come on, my boy. There you go. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this. Oh, we changed history. 
Oh, that works. I think we're dead, though. Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, winner. Yay. Powerball. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Are we a slave? Owner? No one owns me. You don't own me. You don't own me. No owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. <laughs> Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. <laughs> and this game got dark. Uh, let's look at the cards. Probably marked. Hey, they can cheat. You can't. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Oof. Well, who are you then? Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. Oh, Zed, okay, yeah. My wife, Zedna, and my son, Zed. Huh. Huh. Nice to meet you. Uh, where am I? Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house. Just as humans were once the masters of Earth, now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Hey! Uh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. Uh, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? If I Happy do that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get it. Just in, a pet eh? show. They said That's what it sounds like. They wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I am only human. Oh, shucks. I think they're both cheating. Oh. Oh, she liked it though. <laughs> okay. Um, can I can I just talk to you? Can I talk to you? I just, I just want to talk to talk to him. He can't quite do that, I guess. Oh. Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? This is a violation of my rights. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I don't feel so good. I bet we have to use the fake barf for this. Remember the fake barf? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. <laughs> Somehow this is this is worse. Okay, human, do your business. Uh, I know he's still sitting on the we chair. Have, we have a knife. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid he'd overpower me. Hmm. Okay, well the future's scary. Oh, here. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need the fake. Bar There's a little bar. door to get in the basement. I think I need to plug a little open in, window. But I don't think it's long enough to reach anywhere. Maybe like an extinction cable or something. I can Thinks see Doctor Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Oh. Gee, I could really use that power. But me I'm yesterday when the power went out. <laughs> me when I'm stuck with tentacles in the future. I think uh, it's me every day wondering why no internet. 
there anything else we can do here? It doesn't seem like it. I think we might have to progress further elsewhere. Seems to be the case for Mr. now. Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Okay, yeah, we'll switch to Bernard. Mm. Mm. So we need to get into that safe, right? That is one did, of did, our did many wait, things to do. Did you uh, move that guy off the bed? We need more, like, dimes to do that. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. World's greatest mad scientist. Can I just take that? Get away from that! Put decaf in it. Hey, Dr. Fred. <laughs> we have to do something. We have to do something. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit. No power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world. It's a dark day. For Truly a dark science. day. Why don't we just fix it? Just, just fix it. It needs a whole new diamond. Now where am I going to get the money? Mm. How much could it possibly cost? Two million dollars! That's how much the so contract you was. Money, don't you? Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Ah. <sighs> If only I had signed that contract in time. Oh, we have to go back in time and sign the contract or something? Well, there's that time capsule that they're putting in the Oh, cabin, that's right. So that's right. I, I assume we'll have to put that in there. What TV show about you? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, the first game. somebody decided to make a show about us. But they didn't pay us anything. I don't think there was a show. I don't think there was a Maniac the Mansion game. show. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Hmm. Let's go get the contract out of the Let's safe. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign He's just like, okay, yeah, sure. I forgot the combination. But that's... That's so stupid, Dr. Fred. You're an idiot. <laughs> I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years. Oh, no. Give him decaf. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. Oh. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would That's come. a that's a pretty big hint right there. I just said we should I get know, decaf. I know. Scientist biz. Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. Ooh. Well, gotta go save the world. Good luck! Bernard, right. you sound so pathetic whenever you say that. Okay, here we go. Oh. Decap them off. Help there. What's the point? I'm not sure I like that idea. Oh, wait, here we go. I was using it on the wrong thing. 